Twitter will be support in public. It's organic. Peter was my governor for eight years. Peter will not give you 1,000 naira to support him. He will not pay you to support him. You understand what I'm saying? So anybody say, yeah, maybe Peter. Peter will not do it. Go and ask his wife. Where Peter will be lives? Where Peter will be lives in Anambra State? He lives in a two room. When they wanted to be, he just told the wife that hey, he doesn't need all these. Uh, this thing. They should just give him two, two rooms. A former governor, a former chairman of a bank. That is Peter's life. Or uh, even someone that is just a local government chairman. We come to Abuja, they are staying at the Transcorp Hilton. Go and ask where Peter sleeps. Anytime he's in Abuja, and he's always almost in Abuja. Check, find out the hotel that Peter sleeps. You understand? He's not the type that believes in. When Buhari wanted to be president, we heard everything. Oh, he will sell off the all the uh, aircraft in the presidential fleet. As this old one, his daughter carried presidential aircraft to go and be doing photo shoots. How reckless these people have been in the last seven years. So, if you see people coming out massively to support Peter Obi, it's because of probably what they've seen about him and in him. And it's their right. I just hope and I pray that Nigerians will do not miss it in 2023. Because it's going to be a watershed in our political life, political history. If we miss it in 2023, there might not be another election cycle. Because what people are doing now is they are trying to push through to the end of Buhari's tenure. To now tell them to start another journey of pain, of anger, of insecurity, of this hyperinflation will not work. People have had it up. Find out how many Nigerians have left the shores of this country in the last seven years of Buhari's government. Including his own supporters. People who have told you that they can no longer bear this. I don't know that they uh, can no uh, longer you in bear on this. But I know that, uh, <laughs> I know that, yes, uh, Bola Tinubu, unfortunately, unfortunately, and I say this not as someone who has a political bias, but as someone who has blood flowing in his veins. Unfortunately, Tinubu is trying nature. He should be resting with his grandkids. There is nothing he should be doing in the public office, not even councillorship, not even chairmanship. A man, every time he has come out in public to make a statement or two, he has always goofed. From telling you that your voter's card has an expiration date, to telling you that people are tweeting, tweeting on WhatsApp, to telling you that, oh, 50 million uh, youth will be recruited and fed with cassava in the morning, maize in Agbado in the night, from telling that one to telling you that uh, Malami switched off the phone line at the national grid. There's already, there's already age as setting, which is natural, which is normal. We cannot move from one disaster to another calamity. Let, he's an elderly man. Look at his son. He's an, he, should stop, he should stop challenging nature. There are certain things you cannot do anymore, not because you don't have the... I, I have never queried Tinubu's intentions, whether they are good or bad. I've never even interrogated his intentions. What I would do, what I have done, is to put Tinubu on the scale where I would put my father. If at his age, with his condition, medical condition, he decides that he wants to run not for chairmanship of our estate association or village community association, to run for the president of Nigeria. How? How? So, Tinubu's time has passed, but he wants to fight nature. He wants to, the last appearance he had at the rally in Lagos last week, he was wearing a shirt, wearing a jean, and wearing some sneakers. Lovely. But governance is beyond how you dress. Do you do even understand? How can you say people are tweeting on WhatsApp? What's that? That's the person who wants to hand over Nigeria to, to be signing documents, sensitive and important documents, on behalf of the country? No. What if he signs of our, our freedom? Or signs of our sovereignty? Because the thing is, is gone. The thing is, is no longer there. Watch every statement is made. He believes that 2023 belongs to him. 
because he brought Buari to power. And I ask, how did you bring Buari to power? How? What was the vote of, 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 of Lagos to Buari in 2015? But, well, it's unfortunate that he did not learn from history. Because he have le if he had learned from history, he will have seen what was done in the past to his own forefathers in the Nigerian political terrain. I will not mention names out of re 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 respect and reverence to them, but he should have studied history. He failed to study history, and now, how can Tinubu, a godfather, a godfather whose son, political son, is the vice president for the past seven years, a man who should sit back and ensure that good governance is given to the people by whoever is able to nominate, is now on his own throwing the, himself into the ring and claiming he belongs to me, he belongs to me, he belongs to... Nothing belongs to you. We cannot compensate you for helping Buari with the Nigerian presidency. No. Presidency is not something you use to compensate anyone. It's for governance. It's not for political patronage. Uh, come and take. Come and take the ticket. Because what? Well, take the ticket to do what? If Tinubu, if Tinubu can stand up erect, hmm? stand up erect and count from one to hundred, I will vote for him.